Hi guys, it's Jeremiah from Personify. Today we're going to talk about something pretty exciting. Um, this is uh, a discussion about how are we to make avatars using Ready Player Me and uh, then how do we bring them into Chroma Cam to make them chromatars. So here are the steps. It's really simple. It's kind of like a game. You just go into uh, readyplayer.me go into their website and I have registered with them. You do not have to register. You can create one-off avatars, but if you want it to remember what your avatars are so you can go back and edit them later or download them again and store them in the cloud, you have a way to do that. So uh, I recommend registering. And once you register, you can just go on into the hub and you have access to all of your avatars. So this is my most recent one but you can see that I've got a whole bunch of avatars that I've created. Uh, and what I can do is just go to the top here and create a new avatar. Now, um, when you do this, you can uh, also uh, choose from an avatar you've already created or you can start from scratch. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna do a masculine one but you can do any body type that you want, including not specifying, and then just piecing and parting things together the way you want to artistically create it. But in this case, I'm gonna create a masculine one. And um, you can take a photo uh, uh, just using your camera. Uh, in this case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna choose it from a template, but it will essentially scan a picture that you have on your hard drive or it will scan uh, your webcam and uh, base the, the image that it creates uh, into the avatar based on your photo. But in this case, we're gonna just continue and I'm gonna choose from one of these. And I'm just gonna start with this guy here and uh, use him as the base template. And once it loads in, you'll notice that if you've created an avatar in the past, it uses the most recent costuming uh, that you put in the last one. Um, it's really easy to change it out. You just uh, click on uh, the clothing option, and then you can pick any options that you want. Like uh, this guy here, that's kind of interesting. But I was thinking about making sort of like a matrix type character. So I'm gonna start maybe with some leather yeah something like that so uh, and then you can go in and alter the hair All right so I'm looking for something a little more slick oh I kinda like that yeah and uh, then I'm gonna change the hair color out a little bit and darken it up yeah excellent and then I can go in and change the beard qualities as well. Uh, I think I want something a little, all uh, right, interesting. Um, maybe that one. Yeah, I kind of like that one. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna lighten it up, or rather darken it up a little bit. It was a little too light for me. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, good. Okay, and uh, then finally maybe uh, change the eye color up a little bit. Um, let's see. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Oh, or even like that. Whoa, that's kind of spooky. Okay. And uh, then finally, uh, when I feel like I've got it uh, completed and it looks the way I want it to, then I can simply... Uh, go and enter the hub. It automatically saves your avatar and then it's really essentially ready to download and it can be in Chroma Cam in a few seconds once you get to this point. The files aren't that big so once uh, it downloads it usually appears I believe toward the bottom of my list here and it's rendering right now. Now it's done. Now I can always go back and edit it and change it however I want. But for now, I'm just going to click here and download the GLB. You'll see the GLB file is saved to my downloads. And then all I have to do is go back into Chroma Cam 
and I can load that file into ChromaCam by using the upload function and select the file that I just downloaded. That's the one. It takes a few seconds to load. Once it downloads, then that character becomes available on my on my screen. So here he is. Now I can use this character for anything that I do ChromaCam on as my avatar. And there it is. It's as simple as that.